There's lots of anxiety these days about carrying out simple tasks like grocery shopping and one very visible manifestation is the number of people in the aisles wearing gloves, rubber gloves, dishwashing gloves, regular winter gloves, all sorts of DIY equipment. Items like gloves certainly play a very important role in a clinical setting where healthcare professionals constantly come into contact with bodily fluids and infected patients and also conduct medical procedures and examinations. There is limited evidence that they're useful for members of the public. The World Health Organization has also not recommended people wear gloves to protect themselves at this point and that people should instead prioritize good personal, respiratory and hand hygiene in addition to staying at home and practicing social distancing. Items like gloves can actually give you a false sense of security and lead to neglecting hand hygiene. Let me give you three reasons why you don't need to be wearing gloves out and about. Gloves are like hands when it comes to spreading viruses, maybe even worse. This novel coronavirus doesn't enter your body through your hands, so you don't need any kind of barrier there. If you touch a contaminated surface with your gloves and then touch something else, you're as likely to spread it as you are if you touch things with your bare hands. Say you touch a surface, you'll pick up germs, okay? You're still spreading this as you touch other things as well. You might touch your face, transferring your germs over there. You might touch your wallet, transferring germs. You might touch your phone, transferring germs. Whereas your hands can effectively be washed again and again and used right away. Number two, gloves can give you a false sense of security. It's really easy to let your guard down on hand washing when you use gloves. Plus, wearing them from one errand to another just risks spreading the germs and the novel coronavirus to all those places. For example, say you touch a surface, you're picking up more germs. You touch something else or another surface, more germs. Each additional errand or task you carry out with your hands, you continue to pick up and accumulate germs. And then you risk touching your face and other surfaces, your steering wheel when you're driving home, and you're transferring this to everywhere you go. Whereas if you just had your bare hands, you'd get a squirt of hand sanitizer in between or stop at a sink for a good old fashioned soap and water wash. Number three, very few people take gloves off right. And when you don't take gloves off properly, you just get everything that was all over the gloves on yourself and everything else. This is cross contamination. Taking gloves off isn't a trivial thing. There is a correct method and technique to removing gloves to avoid contamination with the outside surface of the glove, which you would not routinely expect members of the public to be aware of. Again, this type of protective wear is only useful in a clinical setting where healthcare professionals are in direct contact with bodily fluids and the virus throughout the day. And one final note, if you're thinking of washing your hands with the gloves on, don't. You cannot rewash the disposable latex gloves. They are not designed to be washed or reused as they're very thin and the gloves could also rip. The gloves really won't make much difference other than making you feel that you're slightly more prepared. Remember, wash your hands, be safe, be sensible.